Hey everyone, this is Clayton, and today we've got some elk ivories, and we're going to see if we can cut them down and make them into a shiny. I find a stone and take it home and polish it and hope it shines and also there's a chicken. Ah! Hey everyone, like I said, today we have... Elk ivories. And if anyone doesn't know what elk ivories are, <coughs> yes, I know. You told me that before. Um, North American elk are one of the few animals that actually have ivory. And what they are is these are canine teeth. And I have them in the top of their mouths where canine teeth would be, even though they are um, herbivores they do have canines. And why? I don't know. They just do. But here's what they look like. These were taken from uh, an elk that was on a game farm. And let's you know, just take one at a time because they are kind of small. This is the, the tooth. This is the part that's exposed in the mouth. And let's get some focus on here. There we go. This is the part that's exposed, and these are considered to be ivory. And it's legal, 100% legal, not like walruses and elephants and that kind of stuff, narwhals and all that. You know, I don't know if narwhals have ivory. <laughs> not plastic or blue but anyhow I'm gonna take one of these and polish it up and possibly set it into a ring or a pendant so I'm gonna do one so which one do you think I'd say this one okay so that's the one that we are going to polish now this is not tough enough that I need to take it over on the wheel, but I need to, do need to trim this down. So, I, actually I've never worked with elk ivories before, so I'm going to see if we can just take, take, whoa, yeah, that's tough. I may have to take this onto the wheel and grind it down. So let me take this over onto the, actually I think I'll take it over onto the saw. And trim this back down a little bit right about there and we'll see if we can well you know what maybe not I need something to hold on to when I polish this because I don't want to put it on a stick so let me see okay let's take the thousand grit out Hmm. You know what? Okay, you know, I don't... I told you before I don't script these. But I'm thinking, you know what? That's pretty darn polished right there. And the, I'm thinking I might just be able to go onto the cerium oxide wheel. Take a little bit of... Hmm. Yeah, let's just... Well... Let's just take this over onto the cerium oxide wheel and see if I can polish this already mostly polished piece up. So, thousand grit goes away. I'm going to clean this off, get this out of the way, and take it over on the cerium oxide wheel and see what I can do with this. Okay, I shall be right back. Don't go away! Alrighty, I'm back, and we'll set this off to the side. And I gotta say that I am pretty astounded here because this shined up incredibly shiny. Well, we can get the focus going. You focus, there you go. Maybe. 
That is some serious shinage. I was, like I said, I've never polished up ivory before. And this really, really polished up. I mean, that is some serious, seriously different than the unpolished one. Let's see if we can get them side by side here for a comparison. The camera doesn't seem to be working real well today. Hmm. I wonder why that is. Everything seems to be darkening out. But it definitely polished up tremendously. So, I guess the next thing to do is I have to trim this down to a decent to a decent size, something I can use. So, I'm going to have to cut basically what would be the crown of this tooth off right about there. So I'm going to have to get the saw. Yep, I'm going to have to take it over in the electric saw and see what I can do with it. So I shall be right back. That's so polished up nicely. Be right back. Alrighty. Well, that was pretty quick and pretty wet. My trim saw spews water everywhere. And I cut it off pretty, pretty nicely. I guess that's hard enough to... Hard enough that it'll cut teeth. Not that that's a good thing, but hey, whatever. So here we go. So if you look at that, that is sitting there like this, but I'm still gonna have to trim some more of that off. You can see that's cut off there. Trimmed off there nicely. And that color, the ivory color is pretty well all through that there you can see side profile what I'm dealing with here so if I was to set that into a ring or something I still am gonna have to get that down a little bit flatter because that's just way too thick so I guess you know what I'm gonna have to get some heavy-duty sandpaper so we're gonna have to bring out the big dogs dun da 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 coffee I got this is a belt sander a sanding belt and it's like 40 grit so let me see oh yeah that ain't gonna work okay, let me make it a little bit wet maybe that'll work nope that's not gonna work okay let's try this this is a an old wheel Let me see if I can grind that down. You know what? I may end up taking this over onto the the cutting wheel. Let me see. That's yep. That's taking it down. But I got a long way to go. I don't know if it's going to be feasible to sit here for 20 minutes and cut that down. I have another cutting wheel. I do. I do have one. This one has a little bit more, more grit to it. I was going to say a little bit more teeth to it, but yeah, that pun would... Ah, ha, ha, oh. ah, 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 ah. What was I saying? Oh, that pun would have been kind of unnecessary at the moment. So let's see if I can grind that. This is... Yeah, it's cutting it, but it's not cutting it well enough. What to do? <gasps> Wait, got an idea. Okay, well, uh, I'm back. I had an idea that I'd take it onto the Dremel and sanding disc on the on the Dremel. Well, it worked really well, but it freaking stinks. Oh, good grief does it stink. Yeah, seriously, like some bad dreams at the dentist office. And it's like, no, 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 this ain't going to happen. Okay, so I think I'm just going to have to take this over onto the diamond wheel and cut it. I didn't think I'd do that, but hey, live and learn. Be right back. Okay, now, that seemed to work out pretty good. 
Of course, that stinks too. And we have, I got, I got some serious coffee break. I've got some serious water cooling on that wheel over there. Probably like at least a hundred times more than I need. And it still smelled like ugh, grinding teeth. So I got it trimmed down. Oh my gosh, chicken hairs. So I've got it trimmed down to where I could probably set that. But I think that's about the extent of what I can do with that. Well, that was just a little less exciting than I thought it might be. Um, we have this more or less root part. That is, I guess this would still be considered ivory. And there's probably something I could do with that. But I'll save that for a later day. You know, here's what we have. Here's a polished one. Here's a raw one. And you know what? I'm going to have to see if I can set this into a into a ring. I think that would look good on a ring. Probably. But as shinies goes, I can say that this one is a win. So if you like the video, you know, hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll have more videos like this. Probably not more with elk teeth, but we'll have more videos with stones and shells and anything else weird that I can come up with that we can polish up. So have a good evening and thanks for spending some time with me. Or is that thanks for spending some time with me and have a good evening? <gasps> I forgot my exit.